Good Monday morning and Happy New Year, GLADS. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. We're glad to be back, and we're kicking off our news today with a new segment we're calling Moose's Monday Morning Music Moment, where Moose will introduce us to new, old, and some buried treasures in music. Take it away, Moose. Hey guys, it's Moose, and thanks for tuning in. For those of you looking for that slow hip-hop vibe, we got Casas Clay with Stolen Moments. The second song we got is called Coconut Girl by Juice. Even though the song itself has a nice reggae vibe to it, the band also dabbles in other genres. And finally, for those of you looking to reminisce in your childhood, we got a Jesse McCartney song. The song is called Better With You, and yes, Jesse's still rocking that nice guitar. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you guys found some inspiration for finding new music. I'm Moose, and have a good one. Thanks, Moose. Those are some cool tunes. Seniors, stay in touch with college visits by checking with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Mark your calendars for these upcoming college visits. UCCS returns on February 7th, followed by Colorado Mesa University on February 20th. Western Colorado University has scheduled another visit with us on April 17th. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits, and you can get your pass in the Counseling Center. Seniors. Here are two more important announcements for you. Class shirts are still available for $15, but the numbers and sizes are limited. Get yours soon in the Counseling Center so you can wear it for the Senior Panoramic on February 13th in Bowers Gym. And seniors, Herf Jones will be here tomorrow at lunch in the Lower Commons. Come pick up your orders for class rings, senior hoodies, and other graduation materials. Also, seniors, this is one of the last chances to order your cap and gown for graduation, so please get your orders in. Glabs, it's time to start selecting your class classes for next year, and a few of those classes require applications. If you'd like to join us here on the KWHS staff, pick up your application in room 102 from Ms. New. If you are interested in joining the yearbook staff, those applications are available from Ms. Kennedy in room 104. Both applications are due on January 29th. For those of you interested in becoming a teacher in the future, check in with Ms. Ship in room 202 for an application for the Teacher Cadet Program. You can also get an application in the Counseling Center. When we return from the break, we'll have some new information on upcoming PSAT sessions, but first, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. We're kicking off our sports segment today with a cool opportunity for everyone who enjoys basketball, especially college-level basketball. On February 2nd, the Air Force Academy Falcons will be hosting the CSU Rams at 2 p.m. at Clune Arena, and it's Student Appreciation Day. Tickets for students are just $5, and adults are 7 Visit this website and use the promo code STUDENT to get your tickets. This weekend, our WHS Forensics team hosted and competed right here in our halls. The team heads out to St. Mary's High School tomorrow afternoon for a Congress meet. We'll have results for you on Wednesday. Our boys basketball team was on our home court against the Harrison Panthers last Thursday but the baskets were just not falling in our favor, and the boys lost a close one, 53-57. to Check out the boys in action tomorrow night when they take on the Sierra Stallions on the road at 7 p.m. Our ladies basketball team also took on the Harrison Panthers last Thursday night, and the ladies easily took the win from those cats with a score of 56-43. to Check out our ladies tomorrow night right here at home when they host the Sierra Stallions at 7 p.m. We'll have scores for you on Wednesday for both games. In swimming news, our Lady Grizzly were in the pool this weekend at the Hornet Invitational at Pueblo County High School. Here are their results. Way to swim, ladies. The swim team is in the community center pool this Wednesday against the Woodland Park Panthers at 4 p.m. Check out the ladies as they continue adding to their winning season. And speaking of swimming, Miss Wickberger is holding an informational meeting on January 23rd at lunch in room 110 for all boys interested in trying out for the swim and dive team. Those practices will begin on February 25th. In wrestling news, the team traveled to Alamosa over the weekend and managed some strong pins and wins. The team is back on the floor this Wednesday against the Purple School at at Mesa starting at 6 p.m. Go out and cheer the team to more wins and pins. Stay tuned on Friday when we resume Damon's Dose of Health. This week we'll be talking about how to keep those New Year's resolutions. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great week. Now back to the news desk with Cheyenne and Isaac.
Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads, the 180 Club would like us to take a minute to applaud all of you for contributing to the food drive last month. To say the drive was a success is too mild, your support was phenomenal. Because of your generosity, the 180 Club was able to provide meals for over 30 of our WHS families or about 197 people. Thank you so very much. This is one of the best demonstrations of gladiator power, and you guys rock. Likewise, the WSD3 toy drive was an awesome success. The WSD3 Positive Action Committee provided gifts to many of our students. And get this, all those hat and pajama days we held helped to raise about $450 for gift cards for our older students. So again, thank you so much for opening your hearts and your wallets for these important events. And now, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu. Happy New Year, everybody. We've got a couple changes for lunch this year. You notice that we've been selling propels, lemon and, and strawberry kiwi, and Nestle, and they're only a dollar. And starting today, we're going to have Nestle water, and you get it instead of milk. If you want both, it's a 50 cent charge. Okay, so milk or water, both cost you 50 cents. So, and today for lunch, we're having um, pork roast with mashed potatoes and gravy, and tomorrow's a hot dog with mac and cheese. Hey, have a great day. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. Glads, this April, students will be taking the PSAT and SAT exams. This year, the PSAT counts as a graduation requirement, so earning strong scores is important. To help us prepare for these exams, WHS is offering PSAT, SAT study sessions during advisory every Thursday for 10 weeks. Here's how it's going to work. We do have to sign up for one of these sessions offered. Those sessions include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boost with Khan Academy. Sign up in the library Mondays through Wednesdays each week. As we said, study sessions will be on Thursdays during advisory. The location for your session will depend on the session you are attending. Oh, that reminds me. If you sign up for a session, you must show up because attendance will be taken. Signing up for these sessions is voluntary, but the sessions are free and you might boost your PSAT, SAT scores so you can graduate on time. So really, what do you have to lose? The first sessions will be held on Thursday, January 24th, and signups will start on January 21st. You should totally check these out. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great Monday. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great week.